Hi, my name is Andy Black Sugar from Black Sugar Transmission. I'm going to show you two sick riffs today. One that is relatively easy and one that is relatively hard. But neither one is impossible. <laughs> This is a riff that requires some bend accuracy. I also have a really gnarly, crunchy, distorted guitar sound that's gated so that it can sound very staccato. So, so it starts with a bend to a beat. I kind of overreached on that bend, but it should be a whole step bend from an A to a B. Then we do this quick little bend and release. So we play the A again and then bend up to it from an A flat. So. And from there we just go down chromatically to an F sharp. So. And that time we do sort of a repeat on the, the half step bend. And then one more time in the And that one we end with a double stop in the C sharp chord. So So that's pl being played on the two middle strings by my pinky here on the 6th fret. So Once the song settles in, you're just playing that bend over and over again. You should hear it in terms of, of B dominant or B Aeolian dominant. So underneath all that stuff are these chords. So the key center is sort of ambiguous. It, it sounds like it's A, but you could interpret it as B as well. The solo for a song called Omens. I use a wah-wah on this, but I don't have one set up right now. I think you'll still get the idea. This is a song that has some modal modulation in it, so I think the first thing you want to think of is F sharp major. And then we we lower that fifth to a flat fifth because underneath it the chord is going from an F major to an F minor sharp four. So we go from to this. So we start on the F major and then and then we bend from an A up to a B and then back and then from a B to a C and then do a double step with the E on the high E string. So. We do a sneaky little half step bend from a B flat to a B. And then a quick G to A back to G bend. This is mostly happening on the, on the B string here. You want to think in terms of Brian May, I think, as far as your, your feel with this. Now, the next part is sort of a bit tricky, so we're going to be playing over an E minor chord, and we're going to do a, an E minor to an E dominant 7 arpeggio. So we're starting with E minor. So that's all E minor right there. 
starting on the 14th fret of the D string and going E, G, B, E, G and we're kind of cycling back down and back up so and then here we're switching to an E dominant 7 So again, a modal modulation happening here. We go from an E minor, E minor to E dominant seven. After we do this dominant seven chord, we're gonna kind of do a little mini sweep just on those five notes. D, E, A flat, B, D. That's the whole arpeggio right there. Mixolydian scale with a flat six. Now we're, we're doing an ascending A minor arpeggio. So again, and then we're doing a little bendy lick. back in sort of a harmonic minor playing over the E major tonality again here. Bending up to that C from a B. And then finally, the last lick of the song, there are two licks. We're kind of starting out with um, C mixolydian lick here. And then the blues note here. We do a cheeky little chromatic thing there from A to A sharp to A flat. Finally, we have another ascending A minor arpeggio. This one's a little longer than the one before, but um, I think it follows the same pattern. That lick is also harmonized, but I'm not going to worry about the harmony right now. Uh, main thing is you just want to visualize this A minor arpeggio. And we're just kind of breaking that up. 